Hello, my dear friend. Every once in a while, a message comes along that is life-changing. And I have been dealing with a lot of prayer requests lately that reminded me that I need to remind you of this gift. People have been saying, I'm going for a job interview, but I just know I'm going to fail. I'm going to take a test, but I know that I won't do good on that test. And I see this happening bad, that happening bad, and disaster will befall me. This is even before they get up from their bed. You have the God-given power to recreate your day. You can create with God as your co-creator. God is your creator and God is not done with you yet. It says in 2 Corinthians 9 verse 15, Thanks be to God for God's indescribable gift. Well, this is an indescribable gift. Usually, we don't think about creating our day. Most people wait to see what the day creates for them. As people, spiritually powerful, we need to co-create with God the kind of day we wish to experience. What kind of day are you helping to create? It is true, with your thoughts and your words and your activities, you help create the kind of day you experience and share with others. For instance, you may think of how it feels to have no other thought than to enjoy the life that God has given you. Now you hold on to that feeling for just a moment and you see yourself enjoying your whole day, this wonderful day that has been given to you. You are not defined by your circumstances. You define your circumstances by the attitude in which you handle them. As you envision yourself meeting people and working with them, you see a smile on your face and you can imagine that they are smiling back at you. If you're going to take a test or you're going to do an interview, you see yourself ahead of time doing well. You let the feeling of assurance help create an atmosphere of confidence and trust that radiates from you. Yes, beginning right now, you are helping to create a day by simply enjoying the gift of life that God has given you. And at the end of today, you will hold on to that feeling for just a moment and you're, you see yourself again reliving that whole wonderful day. You see your life as a journey with God. And when you view your life as a journey, you can look forward and back with positivity. You can look back with new understanding. Yes, those turns and detours that at the time seemed so unnecessary actually moved you to where you need to be for today. And looking forward, you know the road you take leads you to a new tomorrow that is filled with God's good. Sometimes you make a choice to blaze a new trail, accepting the nudging of God to create a greater good. Sometimes you choose to stay on a well-worn path, but always choosing to enjoy that path more. Your day and your life will be a journey with God. A journey of living in the wonder of every new scene and celebrating the joy of every new discovery. You work with God by blessing others on your path and showing to them that life is a, a glorious journey as we walk together in faith with God. I pray with you right now that you are alive with the life of God. And you feel this life 
pulsing through your entire body. You feel strong. You feel confident. Your mind is fresh and you think clearly about what to do next. You're filled with new ideas as, as you open your mind to God. Physically and mentally, you feel rested and you feel renewed. You are ready for the golden opportunities that await you this day. Dear God, I know that you are always with me, preparing me for new and exciting adventures in living. I look forward to all the possibilities that this day holds for me. In Jesus Christ's name, amen.